right, well, this is uh, this is a four-year-old fraternity horse for this year. And um, so I just want everyone to know, you know, he might look pretty cool in that, but uh, he is kind of, uh, not quite, but he's, you know, kind of the finished product. You know, I've been working on this horse every day for two years now. So, um, you know, not every horse has to look just like this. You know, it's this is kind of uh, like I'm using the best case scenario to give examples of, of what I like in that. Um, but who knows, he might make a liar of me anyway. But uh, but yeah, I'll just kind of go through um, kind of what I like in my horses. Um, I'll start with what I like in my horses before I ever start the barrel. Um, you know, how far along I like them to be. I think, in my opinion, I see a lot of people start horses on barrels uh, far too soon. Um, or maybe they've waited a long time, but the horse just doesn't have the fundamentals down as well as they should. Um, I like my horse to be you know, basically everything I need it to do on the pattern, I want it to be able to do perfectly off the pattern. Um, that way, when we teach it to run barrels, it just comes naturally and it's so much less stressful for them. I really like to ride a horse with my legs. Um, you know, some people like to ride more with their reins and that, and, uh, and that's fine. That works for a lot of people. But for me, I want to use as little uh, hands as possible. I mean, in my head, my feet are like a, just like a gas pedal in a car, you know, the, the harder I push, the faster we're going to go. And then uh, the quicker and or the more I release, the more we're going to slow down. And if you think about that, when you go ahead and imply, apply that to the barrel pattern, what do you do in between the barrels? You're kicking, you know, you've got your, your, your horse feels those feet. What do you do at the barrel? you go ahead and you, you know, you try and sit back and you, you try and open those feet up. So if off the barrels, you've already got your horse to where they'll s slow down just from a release of pressure in your feet. Then when you go to start on barrels, I mean, that's just a natural thing. So I'll show you what I mean. Like if I just open up my feet here, we're going to go down to a walk with almost no um, hand movement or whatever. And uh, you know, I, that's just a personal little thing, you know, I, I don't know if everyone would like that style or not, but for me, it, it really, um, you know, I, I just really like the way it gets them feeling. And, and when I do show them the barrels, they just seem to like really eat it up that much quicker, you know, just cause they're not really doing anything different than they've been taught already. It's just now there's a barrel. So some people really like a lot of bend in a horse. Um, like, you know, they really like to get their head up like that and, and I, I, as much as I, I think it's good to have your horse to where they can do that um, if they want to. But really, as soon as you ask for that nose, it immediately disengages their whole hind quarters. And I'm like almost everything we want out of a horse in the barrel pattern comes from their hind end. When they're coming into the barrel, you want them to rate. What are they rating with their hind end? They've got their butt end under them. You want them to leave a barrel, what are they doing? They're pushing off with their hind end. The more you have that horse's head bent around, the more power you're taking away from them, you know, um, out of their hind end. So I actually, you know, I, I, like I said, I like that end, but you know, if I'm just riding, I actually keep them a little bit more straight. I really want to work on making perfect circles. Don't matter if it's big, small, most horses, you know, they'll, you'll need to start really quite big, but they've got to be able to use that time. Now. And I'll start teaching them to go maybe some smaller circles, you know, and then I want, I'm just going to drop those reins. See how he just leaves in that straight line. Well, that's going to help me out of that barrel. I'm not having to make that final, you know, I'm not having to make them come around and worry about a blowout. <laughs> those are the things we look for. Oh, you know, and there's a good example. I just say, whoa, and open my feet up and he just sinks under me. And, uh, you know, when you start feeling that, you'll know what I mean. It just really, really helps them, you know, when, when you just go and apply that to the barrels. So and those are kind of a few of the things I really like to work on be before the horse ever even sees a barrel. You know, basically I want him to, I want him to, uh, you know, rate off of my feet. I want them to lope perfect circles and I want them to lope straight lines perfectly. And, uh, and I don't want them, you know, diving into turns or, you know, if I go from a straight line to a turn, I want them always listening to me or looking to me for direction. 
once I feel like I've got, you know, a really good handle on all that, you know, um, and it might take a year. I don't care. Not until then do I start on the barrels.